What I am interested in when I do layering is the way people see and to call their attention to it. Um, painting has many functions, uh, most of which are decorative. They add status to a world, they add beauty to the world. They also are didactic, which means that they can teach you things. This is a finished piece. It has three layers. Those three layers have a painting on each side. So there are effectively six paintings here, which have to be brought together, thought of together, and then manipulated until they work. Because though they are very spontaneous looking, there's an immense amount of structural tension that has to be created for the piece to actually work visually for other people. I'm more interested in things being transparent because they cast a shadow through the paint, through the marks onto the wall, and that is the dynamic interaction which changes with the light constantly. This is just all raw at the moment. This isn't, even these pieces aren't finished. Now, that has created a subtler interaction of light, more texture if you would, but these are still marks. This is not put down as texture. These are simple brush strokes, though I don't usually work with the brush. Then I would put down the, the third piece, and this has marks that are put down with a different kind of tool. And you start beginning to see the interaction of all the parts. At that point, I have to make the parts work together. I can remove paint, I add paint, sometimes I turn, flip them over. I say, well, I like the gray, but I'd rather have the green in the front. And sometimes, in all honesty, sometimes I start like this and I say, well, that's a very dark piece. I'm not in the mood for a dark piece. Well, you know, I would really like a red piece. And I, and I start with, and I make another piece in red and I say, do I like the way the red works? Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. When you're working with plastic, which is what I work with, acrylic resin, the resin itself interacts with the colors. So that's the, the technique I use pretty much. Then I, it's all cut and bonded and sanded and the hanging system is transparent. So ideally when you have it on the wall, then the piece is floating there, uh, a kind of captured moment, an epiphany of, of light and movement. 